Did you know that even when an object is not moving, it exerts a force? And did you know that forces result from interactions? Isaac Newton founded the three laws of motion. Well, getting back to our question, this is what Newton's third law of motion states. It is called the law of interaction. According to Newton, whenever objects A and B interact with each other, they exert forces upon each other. When you sit on your chair, your body exerts a downward force on the chair, and the chair exerts an upward force on your body. There are two forces resulting from this interaction, a force on the chair and a force on your body. These two forces are called action and reaction forces, and are the subject of Newton's third law of motion, which formally states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law implies conservation of momentum. An example is when you dribble a ball. The ball comes downward and eventually goes upward. This is because the floor gives the ball a force to move upward, which causes it to bounce. Well, still don't get it? Let's go outside the compound. In here, we can see several cars going to and fro. Technically, cars perform this law of interaction. When the car accelerates, it moves forward because the force of its engines goes backwards, which causes it to travel. The same goes along with rocket ships. Have you ever wondered that this law is also applied to guns? When a bullet is fired from a gun, the gun exerts a force on the bullet in the forward direction. This is the action force. The bullet also exerts an equal force on the gun in the backward direction. This is the reaction force. But how come the bullet doesn't recoil backwards? Well, that's because even if it exerts the same magnitude of force, its acceleration is not the same. Acceleration is force over mass. Therefore, Newton's law of interaction falls down to F is equals to ma, which is force is equals to mass times acceleration. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you think that the bullet does not recoil back to the gun? Well, I can tell that you understand Newton's laws by now if you can answer this question. But if you don't, then maybe you need to watch more videos from our channel.